Salut tout le monde. Salut. So we asked you guys on Instagram if there's anything you want to know. Mm. And we're going to answer some of your questions today about what's going on in France. And we also filmed another video where we tell you everything in French uh, about how, what's going on, how it is for us, what the president said, etc. Um, is it possible to shoot your video outside as well? Mm, um, yeah, not for now. <laughs> yeah, we, I took a couple pictures. We went outside a little bit, mm. but we're not really supposed to go outside so much. Yeah, you can go to the store, but you always need to have... Uh, a paper, mm -hmm. signed paper that shows that. Yeah, that explains why you're going out. Mm. Um, we'll leave some links down to like some news outlets that have been showing what Paris is like. It's really a ghost town mm. at the moment. Pourquoi les Français sont sortis au jardin public hier? Oh, so that was Sunday, I guess. Yeah. Um, okay, so Macron <laughs> made two speeches. Uh, the first one, he was like, okay, please try to stay home. We're going to close all the unnecessary restaurants and things like that. Yeah, everything that's not like essential to life in the country. Yeah. And they were like, please try to stay home as much as you can, but also please go vote. So please go outside. <laughs> yeah, that was on Sunday. Uh, yeah, that was... No, he said that on Saturday. Right? Yeah, so Sunday was the election and then... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So... I see how like it looks funny that you tell French people to stay home and they don't, but it's not exactly what happened. The president said, please go out and vote. So, mm. <laughs> And also it was like the first sunny day in like months. Yeah, it was, it was really nice. Yeah, it was really nice. So I know it sounds stupid, but it was, it didn't sound so bad in the first speech. Uh, but majority but like, of... It, did, it didn't sound so serious, you mean? Uh, yeah, yeah, so serious, yeah. yeah. I mean, people... The majority of people stayed home, but some of them, yeah, went out. And I know it looks ridiculous. A lot ridiculous. of people. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people. Yeah. yeah, it does sound ridiculous, but that's kind of the context with that. But that's why he made the second speech, and now we're at home, and yeah. it's fine. <laughs> How long do you think the lockdown, lockdown will last? Uh, so for now, it's two weeks, but it will probably be longer than that maybe another two weeks we don't know we can't speculate but yeah. but for now it's two weeks vous connaissez quelqu'un qui est tombé malade oh, okay uh, not uh, really kind of i know someone who knows someone who who for sure has the who is sick yeah we we can't say um yeah because uh youtube will demonetize this video yeah we can't name the <laughs> the illness right but yeah, but you know what we're talking about. Uh, so yeah, I know someone who knows someone who is pretty much sick. I know, I have a couple of friends who are sick, but we don't know if if that's it. Yeah. Because there's no more tests and they're not, I mean, not maybe that's not true, but they're not really testing everyone. Mm. That's all I know. I, yeah. I didn't check or I didn't call. I didn't have to go get tested. So I don't know. Yeah, they're, they're younger. I mean, they're like our age, so yeah. they'll probably be okay. Yeah, they can just stay at home and rest and it should be better. Une amie m'a dit, on peut pas sortir sauf aller à l'hôpital ou acheter des essentiels. Vrai? Uh, so yes, it's true. You, you're not supposed to go out, uh, but only if you really need to go walk your dog, go to the hospital, go buy some groceries if you're missing something, but mm. try to like limit... Um, uh, the reasons why you go out yeah you can also go out for some light exercise near your home right yeah, um, yeah. like within reason you know mm. and people who are working are allowed of course to go work. yeah that's kind of odd like some well because we heard stories of like some businesses that aren't really essential businesses but they're still making their workers come in oh like yeah that. that's that's really stupid i mean yeah. yeah they don't really talk about that but some businesses like or refusing to follow the rules, but it's a minority. I mean, yeah. everything's. I mean, when you walk around the streets, like everything's closed. Yeah, definitely. Quelle est la situation dans les rues? Pretty much everything is closed except a couple of boulangeries and just supermarkets. Mm. It's not supposed to be. I mean, I didn't go out, so I don't know. I went out like two days ago. Uh, it was like 10 p.m. I just went on a walk, and it was so empty. You couldn't hear a thing. It was insane. I've never seen Paris like that. Yeah. Uh, I was walking a little bit by the Seine and you could only hear the Seine. I don't know. It was really surreal. But you went out and there was a little bit more yeah. people yesterday. A little bit, yeah. It's generally 
a lot less crowded than mm. it normally is. But yeah. just people buying groceries and walking the dog. Yeah. But people keep their distances and all that. We try to like mm. uh, be careful with that. Pourquoi les Français ont continué à faire la bise, se serrer la main, même si c'était déconseillé? Uh, that's not true. That's I went out and yeah. everyone was like, hey, what's up from far? Yeah. We were doing, you know, the elbow thing, yeah, yeah. The, the fist bumps. No, people are like, yeah. the majority, like the big majority of people are following the rules. Some older cranky grandpas <laughs> are like, no, I don't care and I will stay true to myself. And, <laughs> yeah. you know, some people like, tr like to be rebels. <laughs> yeah, but I haven't seen a bisou in a while. Yeah, I haven't <laughs> either. So, I mean, I, d I barely went out. So, <laughs> I haven't seen, I've only seen you. So, <laughs> I don't know what people are doing. Mm. But, yeah. Or stores and restaurants open. Okay, it's funny because um, Uber Eats, they keep sending me um, like messages and emails mm -hmm. saying that they're still uh, delivering food during this that's time. That's interesting. Um, yeah, I think that some restaurants, so they're not open, you can't go in, but they have like one or two people working there because mm -hmm. it's limited. You can't have like the whole crew. Um, it, <laughs> it, it has to be limited to like maybe five max mm -hmm. or three. I don't, I don't really know. Uh, so maybe that's what they're doing? Yeah, I think so. Mm. Like, mostly takeaway. Mm. So so most stores are closed, but there are still, like, these small grocery stores that are open. The supermarkets are open. The, mm. um, like, the open-air markets that happen, you know, once or twice a week. Those are still going on yeah. as well. But everything else that's not necessary is closed. Yeah. What about all the homeless people? Mm. Oh, that's I don't sad. Know. Yeah, I don't, we don't know much. We saw a couple of videos uh, and the news talking about it. Some, um, some what is it, non-profits trying to kind mm. of uh, talk about it more. Like, please don't forget people who are struggling or homeless or people who are see sick or mm. like, etc. Uh, so I think it's a bit harder for them these days. Yeah, definitely. But we don't know much more than that. Je n'ai pas de questions, mais prenez soin de vous. Oh, c'est oh, gentil. That's nice, thank you. Yeah, you take care too. Yeah. Uh, les étrangers doivent partir? Uh, oh, you know a little bit about I don't think so. I don't think I heard that they have to leave. Uh, my school, Middlebury, they have a program in Paris for a year, and they mm. told all the students to go home, but I know a lot of them didn't. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it really, I think it depends on the school. It depends on the country, like what the country, what what are their rules with that? Yeah, definitely. Uh, how they deal with that? But I didn't hear anything about um, foreigners having to leave France yeah. during this time. I'm, I'm a foreigner, I'm still here. Can you please show the document that you have to complete uh, if you need to go out? Okay, so we can just put it on the screen right here. Mm -hmm. um, and Yeah, you just yeah. fill out your address and you why know. you're going out and you sign in and yeah it's pretty easy it's nothing too complicated it, there's another document for people who are working and they i think have to show like all mm. their paperwork from the company etc mm. uh, but we don't need to do that so you just print it out and you fill it out um mm. you can also write it by hand if you don't have a printer at your house yeah and yeah at the beginning people were doing it on their phone but mm -hmm. now you can't do that it really has to be like a on paper <laughs> mm. taking any new online private uh, lesson clients oh. want to work on French during quarantine <laughs> our availability is really limited we're not taking very many private French students but we have mm. a few slots still open if you're interested reach out we can probably set something up mm. j'imagine le confinement est plus dur pour les parisiens parce que les apparts sont plus petits yeah, yeah. that's probably true <laughs> like yeah. we live in a pretty small apartment and my parents left, uh, they're not in their apartment, so we were thinking may maybe going there because it's a little bit more spacious and mm -hmm. they have a balcony and, you know, we don't have to go out to kind of take some, get some fresh air. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's definitely more, that's why a lot of Parisians go out because you, you really need to like kind of walk a little bit. I mean, we can't really do much like you know, working out in, in this, <laughs> like workout in this apartment yeah, either, you know. Yeah, it's pretty small. So I'm sure a lot of Parisians go to go out too. to do burpees and push-ups <laughs> yeah. on the sidewalk. Yeah. L'attestation de déplacement est-elle vraiment contrôlée et sanctionnée? Yes, yes, definitely. Personally, I haven't been. Uh, no one controlled me. How do you say uh, that? So no, no. one um, checked your your oh. attestation. Yeah, no one checked. 
my paper. Yeah. Uh, I just went out once and it was like 10 p.m. or 11 p.m. So maybe that's why. But we saw a fair amount of videos and like news. Yeah, people um, have been getting tickets, like 135 euro tickets. Yeah. So yeah, really make sure you have it because it's pretty serious. <laughs> yeah. But I have to be honest, like there was way more like soldiers in the street after yeah people the, like patrolling the streets um after the terrorist attacks in 2015 right, than now mm. so i'm kind of surprised like i i mean i don't know maybe i didn't go out enough to see yeah. the control but i don't know the clubs are fermé yeah yeah everything's closed and students have lessons and classes online yeah uh, through like uh, skype or whatever something yeah. like that Est-ce qu'on peut rendre visite à ses parents? Um, you're not really supposed to see your parents at this time. If they're older, because um, mm. you might be carrying it, carrying the, the illness, but be healthy. You might not show any symptoms and mm. you might give it to them and their, their immune system is weaker. But, in you know, I guess you could see your parents if you had to, but yeah. probably should. Yeah, for example, I saw one guy on the news and he goes to visit his mom and he helps her because she's sick she is she has alzheimer yeah, alzheimer's alzheimer. uh, and she has people who come and to her house usually to help her but not everyone can because mm. they have to help other people now so he goes to help her so in like certain situation like that where you really need to take care of your parents yeah. you can but it's really when it's necessary yeah so to answer your question yes you can go see them but might want to keep your distance you know yeah have there been any big shortages of items at the grocery store hmm. um there's no more pasta still yeah last time i went a few days ago there was not a lot of pasta oh, okay yeah in paris i think it's okay in bigger supermarkets like outside um you know, because when you have a, a couple of villages and just like one big supermarket for mm. every, everyone, that's yeah. where like everything is uh, emptied. But in Paris, I think we're okay, it's, but except some items. Yeah, but so, most of it is, is all right. Yeah. I'm sure it'll be restocked it's soon. Okay. But yeah, it was definitely like emptied out before <laughs> the lockdown, but now it should be restocked soon, mm. I think. Est-ce que vous avez une réserve de commodités essentielles? Uh, so yes. yeah, we bought a lot of food. <laughs> yeah, we got um, a chocolate supply. <laughs> yeah. We got um, some ginger beer and <laughs> Yeah, that's your popcorn. snacks. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, we did buy a lot of food. Uh, we tried to not, of course, empty the shelves on the mm. <laughs> supermarket, in the supermarket. Um, but we we have like a variety of things like tomato sauce yeah. and like coconut milk and vegetables. <laughs> yeah, and... I think we're good for a while. Yeah. Qu'est-ce que vous faites pour passer le temps libre maintenant? Personally, I mean, I have a lot of work to do, so <laughs> I'm yeah. working non-stop. I guess it doesn't change much for us because mm. we work online, so we can work from home, no problem. Yeah, I'm still teaching a lot of French lessons online. Yeah. Um, but but you're you, you're giving lessons. You're working a little bit and resting yeah. too. So playing some good. video games. We got yeah, Animal yeah. Crossing coming out. <laughs> yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah. So I guess we're like yeah playing games, resting, working. Okay, so that's it. Thank you so much for your questions. Mm. Uh, feel free to ask some more in the comments, mm -hmm. and we always reply. And if you guys want to work on your French online, make sure you check out our free e-course. Mm. We show you how to find some friends to practice with, some basic techniques to make learning the language easier, some things mm. to keep in mind. Um, again, it's free. Check it out yeah. at streetfrench.org. Mm. So that's it for this video and see you next time. Yeah. Salut. Bye bye.